Hello, we're glad you've joined us to learn a bit more about Litecoin, also known as LTC. This coin is part of the currencies sector, similar to Bitcoin, the leader of the currencies coins. Before we get into the fundamental analysis of Litecoin, we want to urge you to watch the whole video, as we will reveal both what $1,000 could look like if Litecoin took over the top spot from Bitcoin as a sector leader, and what the value of $1,000 would be if Litecoin had the same market cap as Bitcoin. So stay tuned, it may make you wonder why you're holding on to cash right now. Welcome to Interweb Coins, where we cover crypto, the economy, and the people that influence it. We're here to lift the clouds, pull back the curtain, and give you a leg up in the world of crypto. Today we're going to do a fundamental analysis on Litecoin. This will cover the project's founders, what big players are invested in it, the sector, what it's trying to solve, and of course, a price prediction. One of the most important things we must analyze when looking at any crypto is if its supply is increasing, decreasing, or fixed. Litecoin is inflationary in nature. Meaning, similar to the US dollar, the coins in circulation are currently on the rise. This doesn't necessarily mean that it will continue to lose its value like the dollar, but it makes understanding the tokenomics and watching this whole video that much more important. According to CoinMarketCap's most recent numbers, Litecoin has a circulating supply of 71,450,000 and a total max supply of 84 million. This means that of the total supply that will be created, 85% is already in circulation. At the time of this video's creation, the price of Litecoin is $52.96. It's currently ranked number 4 among all cryptos and ranked number 21 in the currency space. Currently, the price of Litecoin is negative 87%, down from its all-time highs. Nothing we haven't seen before in crypto as the bears currently have control of the market. Now, before we get carried away with valuation, Let's get started on a bit of fundamental analysis on Litecoin. Litecoin was founded by Charlie Lee, an early cryptocurrency adopter and a name held in high regard in the cryptocurrency industry. Charlie Lee, also known as Chocobo, is an early Bitcoin miner and computer scientist who was a former software engineer for Google. In addition, Charlie Lee held the role of Director of Engineering at Coinbase between 2015 and 2017 before moving on to other ventures. Today, Charlie Lee is an outspoken advocate of cryptocurrencies and is the managing director of the Litecoin Foundation, a nonprofit organization that works alongside the Litecoin core development team to help advance Litecoin. Besides Lee, the Litecoin Foundation also includes three other individuals on the board of directors, Shin Shi Wang, Alan Austin, and Xing Yang, all of which are accomplished in their own right. The goal in launching Litecoin was to improve on Bitcoin in a few different ways. For one, Lee developed a new hashing algorithm for Litecoin called Script. The simpler algorithm supported Litecoin's faster transaction speeds. Bitcoin has a slow transaction processing speed of roughly 5 transactions per second. Generating new blocks on the Bitcoin blockchain can take about 10 minutes. Litecoin's transaction processing speed is 54 per second. And new blocks on the Litecoin blockchain can be created about every 2.5 minutes. While Litecoin still requires a minimum of 6 confirmations from most exchanges to be considered irreversible, peer-to-peer -peer or P2P crypto payment networks can often settle Litecoin transactions almost immediately. The improved transaction speed was meant to prove to merchants that they no longer had to be frustrated by Bitcoin's long settlement time. Instead, they could accept Litecoin and settle payments faster and therefore conduct business more quickly and at speeds more on par with other digital payment methods. According to Crunchbase, Litecoin investors include Karnika Yashwant, the founder and CEO of crypto marketing business Key Difference Media, RB Kodagolian and his venture capital firm Block Ventures, and individual investor Zachary Snader. Now for the part you've been waiting for. This is the part most investors in crypto blindly focus on. Hopefully this evaluation will spark your curiosity in Litecoin, but will also give you a realistic outlook on a potential investment. This evaluation is based on the current supply of Litecoin and the all-time high market cap of coins we're comparing it to. Keep in mind this will not happen tomorrow, or possibly ever. However, keep watching and we'll share why we think it's not out of the question. Alright, so here we go. 
So what would $1,000 turn into if Litecoin grew to the market cap of Bitcoin at its all-time high of $69,000? If you invested $1,000 into Litecoin at $52.96, that $1,000 would turn into $316,125. That's a 31,613% gain. So what would $1,000 turn into if Litecoin was the size of Ethereum at its all-time high of $4,800? If you invested $1,000 into Litecoin at $52.96, that $1,000 would turn into $144,349. That's a 14,435% gain. Now that we've drawn this picture for you, it's up to you to be realistic. Do they have the team, the use case, the developers? How about the funding? This is up to you to decide and do your own research on. Let's just take a look at the crypto and economy as a whole at the moment. In 2022, the crypto market's market cap has been settling between 500 billion and 2 trillion for the last three years. Now, how would it be impacted if money from other markets joined the party? Money that is currently being shut out of the market due to lack of regulation. According to Seville's World Research, here's a quick estimate of global wealth. Global real estate totals 325 trillion. The world supply of above ground gold is estimated at 12.1 trillion dollars. Equities contribute to another 109 trillion dollars. Now look again at the total size of crypto. Look at the adoption curve. Look at how much money is in the stock market. Gold, real estate, not to even mention the derivatives markets. If things are properly regulated and institutional money joins the market, are our previous evaluations realistic? Again, this is for you to decide. If you're in or plan to be involved in crypto, you must plan for volatility. And remember, time in the market always trumps timing the market. If you'd like to be liquid, however, and time macro trends, check out our other videos where we cover crypto adoption, macro level cycle charts, and fellow investors' opinions. If you would like to perform our $1,000 calculation yourself on any other coin you're interested in or at a different price point, we have left a link in the description for you to do so. We hope you've enjoyed this video and choose to let us continue to help you do research on the crypto industry. A like or follow will help us reach more people and let us know we're on the right track. Thanks for watching.